Hi everyone, welcome back to Vivid Ocean Art. Well, it's been a while since I've created a new video. So today I have something special, a whole new project, something I haven't, um, something new to me. And I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I have a pair of boots. I bought these at a thrift store a few years ago, actually. I love these boots. They're comfortable. Um, the zippers are still intact. Um, there's a few worn out spots in the material. Um, but other than that, they're still in great shape. But I wanted to switch them up. I wanted to, I wanted to give them a whole new design, so I'm going to paint them. And um, the first thing I did is I started out, I used my handy E6000 glue to seal up any of the worn out spots to create it from wearing out anymore. So that should seal it up pretty good. Then now I also picked up, I've never tried these before, it's called Unicorn Spit. And they're like a multi-purpose paint that you can use on all different types of materials. So I'm gonna start out by just giving them, I'm gonna paint them from the sole to the, to the top. And then um, once they're fully painted and the design is finished, then I'll have to get a non-water-based non clear coat to seal them up with a clear, a clear seal. And then I plan on, after that, as you can see, they have some leather strapping with a um, chain, but I'm going to add some more accessories to them. So that'll be the last final thing I do to them. So let's see how they come out. Let's get this started. We are making progress here. I have one boot almost completely painted up. I've lined the back by the zipper and some copper. The straps and copper and the design is going great. And so before I do any kind of clear coat, I wanted to finish by trying different ways to apply Maybe a watered down finish around the design. So I'm gonna try a fan brush. I'll try some crumpled up paper. I have some Q-tips to see what kind of pattern I wanna go with. I'll practice that on a piece of paper first and then I could get started on the second boot. And you can see, like, look at the difference. Like, look at how it brought it back to life. I love it so far. And so on the second boot, it'll be a similar pattern. It won't be perfectly symmetrical or exactly the same thing, but it'll still look really good together. Okay, so let me try this pattern. I'm gonna try it on a piece of paper first and then go around the design of the boot to kind of finish it off. And then that boot will be finished and ready for its clear coat. And then I gotta get this boot started. All right, let's see how it comes out. First, I'm gonna try out this paper.
I'm using a blend here of black and copper. because I finally finished the painting of the boots. They came out so great so far. I can't even... So the next step of what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray them down twice. I would say two layer coats of this. Clear coat, I did a matte finish so that way I don't want them to be super glossy. And that should help seal in all of the paint so they, sh so they shouldn't wear out and fade away too fast. Okay, and then once I have that all done, and once I have them all dry and ready from the clear coat, I will move on to the next step, which is I've got some accessories here, and I want to add accessories to my boots. Um, this is just an old, this is a necklace, um, but I'm going to take it apart and use the chains and the locket. This is just a piece of chain, which I can cut as I need. And then I have some leather here, which I will most likely paint it black, unless I decide on the copper color, but pretty sure I'm gonna paint this black. Um, here's my, this is a three-in-one jewelry tool. You have clippers, pliers, and then the very top you can wire use this to wrap wire if you need. And then here's my leather punching tool. Um, so you can pierce the leather. So that way I can then add buttons to hold on to my accessories so I can tie my accessories to them. And I have some D rings here, which are jump rings. They're just in a D shape, I guess. So with these accessories, that'll be the final step that I add to the boots. And we are almost gonna be done here. Very excited on how it's coming along so far. Before I begin my accessorizing, time for a little fishing, relaxation, shelling, salty sea air. Uh, beautiful. I have finally finished my boots and I am so excited to show you them all finished. I love how the paint turned out. I love how the accessories turned out. The only problem I had was the acrylic sealer that I used was not the right sealer. The sealer I used gave it a dusty look and that's not what I was looking for so I was able to quickly fix it, wipe it off, and luckily I saved my mistake. But other than that, I love how they came out. I will find a better sealant for them to just preserve them. But other than that, I cannot wait to show you them off. Before we get to the final reveal, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.